or six, or nobody can quite remember Pop Up. Yeah, it's like our 14th, 97th, one of them numbers. Um, I'm looking forward to this game. Both of them did, yeah, like you said earlier, they gave us a really competitive game from the start. So I'm interested to see. We do see the Leona coming out again on the side of ODU, and we're going to see a champion we haven't seen. And George Washington's pulled out the Anivia. Anivia, excuse me, yeah. So I'm interested to see how the, the Bluebird does here. Well, we will see Nidalee once again on deck, and I'm happy to see it. Orn makes a return to the top lane. Kane seems to be the pick of George Washington today, and for good reason thus far. Let's get into it as we are loading onto the rift. Uh, I, I think ODU did look the best team today. They looked like they deserved their 2 0 record, had a close one versus George Washington, but I think they're going to be feeling very confident going into this series. But George Washington, I mean, I think they've looked better today than they ever have in the past. And that growth is a lot of what the MAEC is all about. And so I would love to see them maybe take one map and even the grand final in its totality. That'd be great for me as we are now here on the Rift. Yeah, and it's interesting to see one thing we did not mention on the side of George Washington is they have the lovers. They have uh, Zaya and Rakan coming out there so they're going to have that joint back as well so i want to see how that synergy goes on in the bot lane as well yeah i mean it's it's one of the most natural pairings in the game it's just sort of smart to run them together as they do have that unique buff so it's going to be interesting to see like how bot lane is going to react together versus that uh generally uh, Looks like they are going to go in for that. And they, oh, that spear is just going to miss. I think we've seen a successful invade yet today, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, we don't really see invades often, so I'm surprised to see one uh, get tried in the top side. Minions has spawned. Well, it looks like we're just going to have a standard start. We certainly will. Velkods, who I am going to accidentally call Shumagora at least 10 times this <laughs> Uh, I love to see Shimmer Garat. He's at an absolute really good character um, in Marvel versus yep. Capcom 3. When is Marvel? I, I miss it. We, we've seen a resurgence of Marvel recently with uh, one of my favorite YouTubers with that major Marvel sort of we saw for Twitch Rivals. But I miss Marvel. Oh, that's a big stun from the Anivia. I want to see how to do an infinite. But anyway, that's enough Marvel. Up top. Horn and Fiora. Well, it looks like Fiora's got the measure of him at the moment. Uh, what, what's that top lane like then? Do we feel okay in Fiora, or is that going to be another tough one? Uh, it might be another tough one, depending on how aggressive that uh, Fiora is going to be. Uh, right now, Fiora has the advantage uh, of being level 2 versus Orange level 1. So she's going to be able to dash in, grab the vital point, and she's going to be able to parry. Oh, look at that. Sign coming up from Leona. Now gonna trade with the Orn and will get the first blood. Taste for it with a life, but that's worth it. Yeah, that's that's a good trade in the top lane. You get that extra gold from first two eyes. But it keeps that Orn in, get a little bit tankier on the fight oh. and then combo. Oh, Italy flashes is surely gonna get the cane. He will. That's big. The Nidalee is already counter-jungling. 
uh, this cane. So this is gonna be some more free camps on the side of Italy. Oh, we're gonna see another fight with the Fiora. That damage. Oh, the passive coming out on the Amnesia. Agnesia is gonna get taken down. This is starting off absolutely beautiful on the side of ODU right now. Yeah, I mean, they look the class of the, uh, of the day. And so far, so good. We just... Much have George Washington yet. Haven't seen them really make any plays themselves. They've been very reactive. I can't. will harass the Jin just a little bit. Not really get a lot of damage out of that Jin. The Jin is uh, back at full health. The Jin is playing relatively safe, seeing that he does not have a Leona for a little bit. Leona is walking back into the bot lane right now. Hold the wave. Very intelligent stuff. Manipulating the creep wave so that it didn't go on the camera, making the last bits that much easier to get from the gym. Oh, the orange is gonna take that free damage. Over and over again by the looks of it. Fiora, is this history repeats itself, I wonder, in the top lane? Ooh, oh, that's a decent oh, amount of damage, and now the turret as well, and that's a clean kill. Meanwhile, Rakan gets dropped by the Jin. Has Desire got any fight left in her? I don't know if it was one stun from the Leona. There's another. Turret will shoot him. It won't be enough, and it's a double kill in the box. Five plays, two. It's looking very good right now. Yeah, that was, uh... A nice little double on the side of uh, Jin. That Rakan absolutely got uh, mowed down there. The Zaya did burn their flash, but that flash wasn't good enough. That was not a very good use of that flash by that Zaya. The Zaya was going to get taken down either way, uh, but she should have saved her flash there. But it's also tragic for that Fiora in the top lane, who absolutely lost her 1v2 versus Orm in the tower. Took way too much damage, but like I said, Orn is still tanky. With that free kill that he got on her from that tower shot, it allowed him to get that extra armor to keep himself alive. Spell calls got that kind of stuff. And here comes that Orn. Oh. We'll hit the Fiora, and here's the cane for the damage. And it should be, should be, an easy pickup as the Fiora can't get away. Yeah, the Fiora is just applying so much pressure onto that Orin, but no ward coverage to protect from any ganks. That's why Kane was able to walk up there free of charge, no, no guards at the door, was able to get in, get that Fiora kill, and just kindly and yet peacefully just walk right out of top. So far, so good at this desire. Drop so, so low. We'll just about live, but okay, the ult comes out. And now, we can have the body block. And they will put himself in a dangerous position. Comes out, and his desire being taken down, as is the Rakan. Oh, the Leona. Beautiful stuff. The Leona will eat one tower shot, but uh, I think oh. she should be able to get away now. Yeah, she just walks out uh, scot-free.
And I'm just looking at the top lane, the Urn is 2 and 1, but he has a lot of those tank items. We're going to probably see a Sunfire come out in that Urn. And I just didn't, uh, that healer is just being extra aggressive in that top lane. And just eating tower shots like it's like pop tarts for breakfast. Oh, what are you don't know what pop tarts are? Wow, well, not really. They're really on the breakfast street. Oh, the take down on the breakfast street. Yeah, it's like a pastry treat for breakfast. What's going on? Yeah, GMT, I'm gonna send you a box over uh, on me. Over right. to you. But we're looking, look at this gold differential from ODU compared to George Washington. 5,000 big ones. This Velkos is scary. He's gonna be blowing people up with big stuff. And he's gonna be a fire in his laser. That's an old reference. I haven't heard that in a while. Jesus. <laughs> Chip to whoop. Ooh, man. I, I I got I got them all day. I got them all day. Ah, the mid two thousands. What a time to be alive. Three, four, two, two, three. Now we now we got TikTok and the oops and the the yeet ya heat. Yeah, well even that's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm saying yeet still in 2021, and I I feel like a boomer. Okay. Production, I heard that. Our, our production is. Okay. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay, so okay. Gonna your friend's gonna be able to pop those heels out. Oh. 1v3? 1v3. No! Dior, you should have just walked out. You had the space to get out. You got greedy. It wasn't about winning, though, it was about sending a message. I agree, she sent the message that she's just feeding at this point. What are we going to see out of George Washington? As they do lose the Drake. They haven't got a clean kill on anyone apart from that Fiora in a while. It's looking a little bit rough, and like we saw last week, I think ODU playing with that food a little bit, maybe not putting all of their competitive aptitude on the field. That's going to be another pick on the Anivia mid, who is having a Horrig. Just straight up not having the greatest turn right now. This Fiora loves the tower. Just adores getting the tower. I respect it. Yeah, Fiora's uh, best friend is this tower. She likes to say hello quite often, but... Oh, that's a big spear! Oh. Bye, bye, okay? Bye, bye. And now Fiora is likely about to get acquainted with the tower once again, but this time she's not Oh, will oh get stunned though the damage comes out from the Italy in the bell cars. Tentacle. Strong. Yeah, this is looking like uh ODU game to lose here. Uh just about an 8k gold lead on the side of ODU. They have the damage. Fiori is gonna be able to secure this tower here. And they have all the chips in their corner right now to take a 1-0 lead in this grand final. There we have it. Rock tower falls. It feels like ODU can just do whatever they want at this point. Every fight's a good one. Every decision's a good one. Every objective is one that they can take. Yeah, ODU is just in complete control right now. There's not really much uh, that George Washington can do right now. They're going to need to play this game just a little bit slower. The one advantage they do have, we're in the best of three, where they don't have to worry about time at all whatsoever. So they can go ahead and turtle this and possibly take a couple smart team fights, get a couple picks, and turn this game around. 
get the rocks in the challenge. They looked good all day long. Why do you look that a little bit better here in the grand finals? Nivia will be purchasing that every cross. The delay the 20 farm down on the Velcro and a couple of kills as Leona attempts. But will miss. Now they're gonna collapse in this bot lane. Yeah, unfortunately she did miss with her flash and ult to secure that kill onto Kane. But that little bit doesn't really matter right there. They are still pushing in that mid lane. Damage! The laser comes up, and maybe they're going to be able to get in here. But Zutaya, no! They're just about to save it. Full no. for the return at the end of play. But... Oh, okay, maybe this is something. Oh, this is is in the mid. You're a 1v3 once again. And this time, Magnivia. Okay, because Nidalee shows up, and now will be trading. Going to take down the egg. And Orn is left all alone and without any options. Massive double kill from that Nidalee. Nidalee just has so much damage there. Could, could not get that passive to come out on the side of Anivia. She was able to take Anivia down real quick in her Anivia form while taking all the damage from Orin. This is an absolute mugging here right now. This is very good. It feels like even when things are going right, they go wrong. This is going as well as people trying to buy a GPU online right now. Just absolutely nothing. Uh, oh, that's a big pick on to that nibble. Aight. Aight. That was... Okay. She just died. I don't even know how. I guess Zaya does a lot of burst damage these days. Fiora still thinks that they're big boy in the world. Going into another tower. Oh, this is a player after my own time. Yeah, Fiora got her big, bur big girl punishment right now. Still thinks she can do whatever she wants. Oh, the prank ball's gonna come out the. I'm a fire in my laser from Velkaz. In as well from Rage, oh my just chunking the Rakan, and they're taking the turret in the meanwhile, in comes the Jin, double kills for him, Fiora reacquaints herself with the tower, but in the mid one falls, and it's just too much damage, and especially at range, it's not like they even have to commit that hard between the Volkos and the Jin. Yeah, and it looks like ODU should be working towards that right now. It's up at 50. Oh, that's a big dash for that one. Um, the flash. We're going to get out of the we are going to feel some light. Oh, comes out. Doesn't hit anything, though. And Fiora just chunks that cane. Oh, has to walk away and lick his wounds. They do stay grouped in. Nidalee is... Potentially gonna get the jump onto the Zaya who's away just in yeah, if, I, if I'm ODU right now, I would have to be looking towards getting that Rip Carol and possibly pushing for a game here. Oh, just push for game. And there's a double kill by the Fiora. She's able to walk out. They came from her pursuit, not gonna make it. Oh, the knockup comes through. Yeah, this is 100% ODU's game to lose at this point. 24 to 9 kill advantage. A third, almost a 13,000 gold lead at 18 minutes. It's gonna be rip kill, and this is possibly looking like the game here. Yeah, they may well just push to the end with this. They do have so many bonuses. Although at the same time, if they want to play it slower, wait for a Baron, wait, wait for a Dragon maybe, they've got the luxury, but it's their choice to make. They sure do. And we see Dragons coming up in three minutes. And we got Baron coming up in a minute and 30. If ODU is able to secure that Baron, we are looking at a game that's possibly over before 22 minutes. That's gonna be a big slow one to Messiah. 
Oh, the snare, all the passive comes out. Um, excuse me, that was not Zaya, that was Rakan. Rakan was able to dash out. Missing a lot of spears this Now in comes the gin damage, the belt calls as well. It will just come down. And they push in the Fiora with no fear. Up against three belt calls and the gin that's too formidable. But they continue to lay down the hurt. Here, here comes his Rift Arrow. This is how it's going to help secure this inhibitor here may not actually take any damage okay it's still shelly was able to take that damage but it's going to do massive damage on one of these next towers oh absolutely brutal on the tower he has three health four health okay oh there, there we go okay. that was almost a massive damage went to that tower that tower would have been gone if they didn't take down the rift here on Sure how much it matters though. Odie, you do walk away for now, but I think they can come back in and take this fight. They just need a pick, maybe on Sphere, maybe who is slow down, but no, Odie, you do back away. Um, they don't want to finish just yet, despite the fact that that tower is on a sliver of HP and the Nexus will fall shortly after. Yeah, look for ODU to possibly back, grab some items, or maybe even transition right now straight to Baron. Because they really can outfight anyone in Gold Rush right now. So it wouldn't be a bad aim. Ooh, that's a big stun and all this time knockup. Go, it's something. The Leona's going to fall as well. It's a double kill for the Anivia, who I said was having a bit of a horrible game. But coming back in, 683. In a game with 28, 13 down, that's Watching is going to be going for that Baron. Hopefully, prevent Obi. Yeah, oh, that's a big spear. How did he get? Flip the wicked. Now, that doesn't seem so much like a goal. No, the can can't, can't withstand the might of the Nidalee. It's a double in the back. Emilia falls. And now, the Nidalee and the Fiora pushing the issue. He's going to be able to in that tower. Oh, yes. they're going to have to go back. He's not going to be able to do it by himself. Oh, no. No, George Washington needs to get back. Oh, they're not going to yes. make it back in time. I mean, kill the Nidalee. All you want, your Nexus is falling. Kills means nothing. Throne means everything. And that is the first map in our grand finals. It's going to go the way of ODU. The favorites, undoubtedly, especially now. We will be back in just a few with our second and potentially final map. resources even for kids out there like this game gym where you can see gamers are here to be coached hone their skills but they can also find a mentor that teaches them about Zombies members that are on. Nova looking to clear it out. Strong aggression here from Chungat Egg. Martial arts goes to that back here. So good. So powerful.
put an end to it now. Flips it up and over. Can he get in? No! It's not very a free win. They have to earn that. Alongside Joy Courtside Team McCurvin, my name is John Piazza Byram, and welcome to this week's 2v2 Rocket League Tournament. We've got no shortage of skilled players. They're trying to clear it out, more styles there, looking to pass to those teammates, but it's going to be pushed aside. We are excitement. We are Washington, D.C. strong. We are united by the game. Who's ready for some fireworks? Introducing the Mid-Atlantic Esports Conference, co-founded by Events D.C. and GameGen. We're bringing you a competition to showcase the amazing college esports talent found right here in the DMV. Schools from Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. face off in eight weeks of intense matches. Featuring Rocket League, Overwatch, and League of Legends. Only one can be the best, so who are you cheering for? Check out mac.gg for more information on the teams, the games, and the future of esports in the DMV.
Hello and welcome back to the decidedly more lethargic MAEC. We are here with the second map of our grand finals, potentially our last map for the day. ODU are poised to take it. George Washington needs something of a miracle. Yeah, it's interesting to see. We're going to see another cool matchup. We're going to see a couple champs we don't usually see. Like We're going to see the Zed coming out on the side of uh, ODU. And we're also going to see the Kled coming out on George Washington. So I'm interested to see how these uh, champions are going to match up against each other. Yeah. So Zed, I think that's off the top of my head in MAEC first. Yeah, I believe we haven't seen actually a Zed yet in game. Same thing with the the Yon pick. I think we're going to be seeing a Yon top in a Zed mid here. Very interesting. And uh, yeah, I... Uh... I like the Yumi a lot. I like the Twitch a lot. In fact, not a lot of these champions have we seen often before. The Jin has been a popular pick today, the Nautilus in the past. But apart from that, everything's, you know, not quite top tier favorite. Uh, so that's nice to see. Nice to see some variety. Yeah, so I'm, I'm ready to see that. And we do see the Zat coming out on the side 
of George Washington versus the Sejuani in the jungle for ODU. So I'm looking to see these gank potentials for both of these junglers are absolutely impeccable with ODU, uh, excuse me, with Sejuani's dash, uh, Zach's jump. So I'm interested to see who's going to get their ganks off much better. It looks like we're going to just have that standard start. And we see that Nico pretending to be clad on the side of George Washington as well. So don't don't be alarmed to see two cleds on that uh, top side of the map. One of them is just Nico. All right. No invade. We will not have a single successful invade today. Uh, and honestly, you hate to see it. But it is yeah. what it is. Okay. I thought we were going to see a cled top. We're actually going to see a cled mid. Versus that Zed. Twitch and Yumi powerhouses in the bot lane. As we do see Nico top versus that Yom. Oh, that's going to be a dash by the that Nautilus. Ooh, yep. <clears throat> so this top lane matchup, I'm going to be interested to see because we do see the range and the dash potential by both of the top laners. We're not seeing any real tankiness up there in the top lane like we're used to seeing. Yeah, both very, very squishy and also incredibly high burst damage. So it's going to be on a knife's edge and I think could easily go one way or the other rather quickly. Nico so far getting the better of the trades. And I think that Yon's probably going to have to back away because this could be very risky indeed. Actually gets a bit of a heal on, jumps in and is rooted. The damage comes out, but it's not quite enough and both live to tell the tale. Yeah, and there's no ignite on that Nico. Oh, that's gonna be a big dash in by G, uh, George Washington. The cled dropping lower and lower. Zed rhyming reminds me of how I always get left on red. And that I am alone in my bed. Thank you for absolutely you um, getting me with that as well. Yeah. <sighs> Clad and Zed, they'll do it to you. They'll depress you. So Juani's in. And there is first blood. Yeah, that is a big first blood coming out over there. There's the yarn up top. A little bit more of a poke. Goes in once again. Knock up on the Nico. Here comes the Zach. Dredge line as well as a whole lot of CC. And the Twitch just cannot survive it. The Yumi. A pretty academic pickup after that. And once again, it is the blue team. This time, though, George Washington getting the better end of things. Yeah, that's absolutely a big pick off. Yeah, it looks like a lot of you guys weren't seeing any of the action going on. Uh, it looks like we had a little bit of technical difficulties in the production side. We should be hopefully having that on screen in a moment. All right, it looks like we're gonna we're gonna resume the game and you'll see it as a, a two to one lead for George Washington in terms of kills. We have uh, one kill on the Jin and the Nautilus, and both deaths are coming in that bot lane with uh, Jin, uh, excuse me, Dead picking up 
I fell onto the quest. That guy once again is gonna dodge <clears throat> the cloud's attack. Apologies. <clears throat> Apparently I'm dying. I didn't know that was happening. Oh, wait, there we are. Is that what we're pushing? <clears throat> Oh, the Zen's gonna die from the power, that ult's gonna pop! Yep, that's gonna be enough. Meanwhile, the young in this 1v2, doing his damnedest to make it complicated, but it will be another kill on the board. Draw drop. On the side of George Washington right now, that Yone is feeling, even though he does have the extra farm, those, uh, those ganks have come through big. that Twitch is gonna back off. That you need to catch. They don't see them. They're both invisible. Stroll back down to the mid. Uh, to the bottom, rather. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the freest dragons you'll probably see in League of Legends right now. Able to walk up, no contest, no real threat for anything, and just able to walk straight out. He wants it. He, he really wants to make this gank happen. He's gonna jump in. Airborne goes Twitch, and he gets popped. Yeah, that, that was a big gank. Yumi was able to escape with her life, but now we see a 4-2 advantage on the side of GW. Yeah, which is not really what we were expecting, especially after uh, a, a very commanding. Uh, now look at the little bit of the and the second of the lock on the play, we'll get the shutdown. It is going to be Nautilus falling soon after the Yugi now trying to get away from Sejuani. Create some space. Kled still standing strong, but here comes the Twitch now. Zack will fall, and is there now enough damage, enough chase from these three to take down the Kled? I should think so. As Sejuani, with a flu, a few flails of her mate, is going to make this happen. Yeah, that was an amazing ult by that Yumi to start. Got that trap in onto that Jin, which started off that entire team fight. The Twitch was finally able to rejoin the fight to actually secure the kill on that Zack, whose passive was, he almost got up from his passive, but Twitch came down there and shot down his little blobs, and he just turned that fight around completely. And now we're looking at a swing and power over to ODU. Six to five kills, 1.7k gold lead. Yeah, on to the honor they go. And he will get out of here. Zed about has the measure of the play. He is the one being the aggressive, trying to find that chip. Like this weather and the storm. 
Meanwhile, well, on bot lane, do see a little bit of ward clearing. Is Yumi in the Twitch? Pretty much the wrap around here. Wither says Ronnie is the Nautilus out of position. I think he might be. I don't need that. Good two fight on their side. So Yone's come down as well. Interesting. Is he now going to try and join up with Zed against the play? Just oh, running back to his top. He's a little bit out of position there from the other. Takes him down. Not much of a fight, really. That's what a Zed can do, though. Super explosive damage. Yeah, that Zed can absolutely just blow anybody up at any point when he's ahead. Being five and one, he is gonna have so much damage come out from that eclipse. Now he's on. Oh, here comes Curry Cole. Oh, that's going to be a big hook from the Nautilus. Oh, the smart plays. Wait until that Curry Cole goes all the way to the last side. Blast. Kill. Execute. And just secure both of those kills in the bot lane. And it is this bot lane that's going pretty consistently wrong. Four. Uh, in the top lane they're pushing, they got a pick with the Shazwani onto the Nika. And the Zed continues to farm and eat the biggest player on the top lane. That Zed's gonna have that insta blow up potential in anybody on the map, probably besides the Zat currently. So that Zed's gonna be vital for ODU's uh, victory. Oh, from, from the clan trying to pull the Yone back, but they're able just to walk out. And, and so this Twitch and this Yumi able to find impact in spite of the pretty bad lane in the base door. Now, playing as a more supportive element, able to make some good stuff happen. Meanwhile, the dragon is taken by our lane. Now you can feel. They're looking pretty good. Once again, with a sizable lead here at the 15 minute mark. Yeah, this is a decent lead, 4.8 gold lead. We see a split in for the objectives right now, but we do see Dragon is coming up in like four minutes. Rift Carol's coming up in three. Oh, that snap trick. The Yumi all is just not enough. Okay, just got in range right there. Not enough to save the switch. But they are able to clean up those kills. Yeah, both the Zat and the Clad going to be another one of the players for them. Now the minute looks to be forfeit. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna Oh, that Nautilus is in the snare place. All the party back. Oh, that might be a dead zone. Oh, dude. And with that much damage, this game is gonna turn out. And so far, it looks like a lot. He's gonna turn. 
does the anime move at another? Oh no. That's an uh, absolute big double kill from the Yone. Took down the bot lane. Absolute brutal. I think I'm gonna try and jump in here. Stop bringing in the Oh yeah, I should take that out. Because we're running on the Zach for a bit of jungler versus jungler action. Zedna up against the web. The mid lane is that it's like this time bot lane. Sejuani diving in the way past the all of the shots. Oh, oh no, that's a lot of damage. And she can't finish off the Zach. Meanwhile, Zed and Claire do manage to pierce him. Okay. A little bit of a throw, a little bit of a door opening here. Now, Zach, su Zach survived that fight with 30 health. 30. It's not a lot. Not it a lot was a hot chew, and Zach was dead. There, some nice moves being five hundred shut down gold going over to the cled. Together. Oh, the Zap's gonna off in. Not gonna be able to get it. Yeah, so far. Things look a little bit dangerous, but here's the third one in the young. He's in the back, he's getting down in stun. A huge route on three. And perhaps this is the opportunity for Jones to set as well. But still, they broke his life. Is it finally time for the Twitch to be the star of the show? I'm not too sure about that. Clint, which is in, but no thinks better of it. Yumi and the Twitch have just about enough strength and damage to scare them away, and now they're on the hunt. Clint dropped so, so low. The Nautilus falls Oh, the Yumi with the save up to the Sejuani! They are just about gonna get away, but that was an epic losing fight. A pyrrhic victory, perhaps, for George Washington, but a comfortable one for no one. That was as, even as a team fight can get with this 5,000 gold deficit. That was an absolute smart fight taken by George Washington. Almost as they could secure that ace. That clan's there to back up that match. Oh, the ult! The Zed. Zed is the difference maker, I feel, here. If he can be enabled, will have the damage. It does a good job of disengaging, right? It looks like they are going to go for that scuttle. Going for the healer, healer down. No more gas, no more healing on the side of the trying to make it work in the back line, getting decent amounts of damage done, but oh no! Leaving for them is the to use that gym. The Twitch is gonna fall and the gym's still having impact out of the trap. Oh, out. Red line off the mark, red line trying to block for the young. Space created in order to get all this damage in. Will take down the Nico. Now up against two, though, as well as resurrecting uh, Zach. And that's going to be four members remaining up. Eight. Up on the side of ODU. Yeah, the tides are turning right now. Good Watson is absolutely getting so much value on the fight. They're able to zone out the Zed to prevent them from taking down the Gen. And they're just absolutely getting this fight. 
they do have the two tanks on the side of George Washington. Both that Nautilus, that Kled, that Zack all have huge pools of health to stay up and they're not able to take them down fast enough on the side of ODU. They're really not looking a little bit lost compared with their usual selves. This is arguably the best team in the NAEC. We've seen it from them time and time again. In fact, they've had some particularly one-sided series, but this one is going to make very bad way. Still small advantage in terms of gold for ODU, but they're going to need to start playing sooner. They're going to need to start playing more together and really, rather than relying on their individual skill, acting as a cohesive unit. We're going to need to see a little bit more right now, even though ODU has the lead, but they seem to be losing at all two fights. Yeah. But I think, I mean, it also has to be a more basic fight, even if it's a base versus one. We do not have a lot of basic fights. So these are pretty close fights. We will see the Baron go the way of the Yeah, it looks like we're going to possibly be seeing the fight here because it looks like they're trying to press their advantage. Oh, that's big damage on the Kled. Almost lost his mount there. Looks like we're just going to see a disengage from the side of Udi. They're going to back, heal up, grab some items, and they're probably going to be looking towards pushing this mid lane in. So that, I feel like for ODU, they want to be taking the 1v1. So they the two ones with the U. Whereas, really, it's, it's George Washington that wants to fight as a fight. So you can see they're grouping up that little bit more aggressively. But now, ODU, they fancy some of it themselves as this Sejuani comes charging forward. Now, just look out for that Sejuani. I'll possibly going to come through with the beds. Back to the and here comes the Yu-Yo that the swing. Oh, this is gonna be a big two fight. The Twitch is getting a lot of damage, but gets blown up. Yeah, absolutely nothing he can do at that point once he's done it. Hey, look, look, look at the side lane. The split push. Yeah, look at the side lanes. We got Yone basically in base right now. Zed is almost to their base right now. They may have taken down that Twitch, but when did they lose? They lost a couple turns to damage. They're gonna need to split back up and go back. All oh, the Yon is coming through big up down there in the bottom lane. Oh, and she's oh, 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 oh. And he's still making a half of kills a Tora. And the Gwed and the Nico, well, they're probably a little bit scared. Spread those take him down, but meanwhile, it's Zed in the bot lane. Getting another Tora. Two open inhibitors on the side of George Washington. They may be able to take down that Twitch. They took down Yone, but they did lose multiple towers in the process. They have two open inhibitors and still three members of the side of who has Baron. Absolutely monumental stuff. Zed will the way. Zed still gets the camera and now Zed has to be off in the 1v2 now. Dropping very, very low. Dealing damage himself, but not nearly enough. That is Zed falling once again. I believe that is four deaths in a row they've had without a kill. Correct, yeah. They went ahead down there in the mid lane. Got caught. Could not get out. Ate a couple turret shots and just got absolutely destroyed. They were starting off five and one, and now they're five and four. The, Z the Zed wasn't able to press their advantage, and they just started feeding here. Looks like we're just gonna see a lot of ward cleanup because we have Dragon uh, spawning in 17 seconds. And both teams are looking to gear up, press that objective. That extra damage coming out from this Infernal Drake will be absolutely 
absolutely ex hit him absolutely vital in terms of a team fight, in terms of getting damage, getting those kills in. Looks like George Washington is going to start to drag it up. In the top lane, and it's a tanked non-engaged. Out of ODU, they might have done that before. Caught up, so now he's dead one in, but great focus by ODU. So now turn our attention to the one. Twitch will fall, then one passes the use for broken stock. What? Yumi will die. And that's the one he's left all alone. Had taken down the gin, but. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm pretty sure the Nort and the Zag will have to take it down in time. But meanwhile, it's the Yoni in the base up against the Quest, having taken one in him. Says one, he falls, but at what cost? Yeah, they were able to take that inhibitor up in that top lane. They did trade Dragon for it, unfortunately. Not not so much of a bad trade, because you'll see that top lane is going to be constantly pushing right now, putting pressure on that top lane to a while. Uh, ODU to possibly roam to other lanes. Now, just take a look at the score line. We we saw two bleeding kills uh, for ODU just a little bit ago. Now we're looking at a 26 to 19 advantage for George Washington. But with the objectives that ODU is taking, they have a massive gold lead still of 5,000. Yeah, so still the gold lead. In terms of that place on the map, they're going to be feeling very comfortable with that push to the top lane. Yeah, they have, like, the side of George Washington has not taken any towers whatsoever. They have three dragons, no towers. Baron is going to be up in the next 15 seconds. Very crucial right now. As we do see, already groups in the mid are George Washington. But here comes King Baron. Looks like the initiative will be on the side of ODU. If they want it, they don't. Zed may be a little bit out of position here. Might you go for yeah. the split first? Pushing in? Yeah. The, the... yeah, it looks like Zed is actually looking towards, pushing towards the base. We do see the Kled backing up, possibly, because they noticed they are 4v5 right now. Looks like they're going to retreat just a little bit. Zed did pop his head up when he cleared out that farm, and the top lane is pushing into base right now. Yeah, so a little bit of a split in terms of the focus here and perhaps ODU want to turn that into a Baron. Yeah, they're trying to split them off. We're pushing that top lane to turn into a Baron. We're going to see a 4v5 here in this Baron pit right now. The teleport is going to come through. All the damage from that gym in the back line. Jimmy doing a great job of setting up the Kled though, who is going to fall with the hands of the Now he wants to drop his hand. Go. Does indeed. In comes the gin, but sliced down by the young, who then takes the back to well, and I well, think that, that the might game. be it. That is the game that Yon came through absolutely huge. All of that damage. Yon's gonna just teleport straight into base. He's gonna be able to take these towers down. Next person to forge George Washington is not gonna be up for another 20 seconds. They're gonna walk straight into base, take down the two Nexus Tyrants, take the Nexus down, and they're gonna be our champions for this pop-up. Odi used again. Two in a row, and they looked so, so good doing it. A more contentious game there. Uh, and, and certainly George Washington had their moments, but it was the split push. It was the Yone, and it was that final decisive fight. Congratulations to Old Dominion University. Commiserations to both George Washington and, of course, our third-place finisher, Howard. Um, that has been our pop-up, which just leaves us to say a few thanks and goodbyes. First of all, thank you to Events DC, the wonderful co-founders of the MAEC, as well as Game Gym. Thank you, as ever, to Super Justice Guy for being my co-commentator. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure uh, hanging out with you and getting some good LOL games with you, uh, GMT. 
I feel exactly the same way. And thank you to everyone at production as well as to you at home for watching. That has been our show. We will now be switching over to some Overwatch where we have a best of seven between George Mason and uh, Let Me Check is what production's telling me. Uh, so it's going to be George Mason versus a Catholic university that we'll be having in just a <laughs>